I'm Anthony Sinetti, drummer of Bad Flower. I'm here on tour for our new record, This Is How The World Ends. And uh, I'm here to show you all the fun stuff I get to play on. The main kit is a collector's stainless steel shell. So these aren't wood. In fact, I don't have any wood drums up here at all. So I really like uh, how they sound. They still have like a warmth to them that like older metal and shells don't tend to have. I have a Ludwig steel kit that's like a reissue from 20 years ago and uh, it's got a different it's got a different thing to it. This is more controlled I think but still sounds huge. Um, I went with that because I like the look of it which is always a plus and uh, I figure like when we play outdoors it, maybe it won't react to like the weather and things like that but I just really like the look of it and the sound of it. That was really the only reason. So it's 10 by 13 rack tongue, 14 by 16, 16 by 18. And uh, they sound huge, especially, especially with the heads I had. <laughs> I'm endorsed, um, I get like a nice deal on everything. But uh, that, that's, been, that's been for two and a half years now. And this is the first kit I got, so. I have other tom sizes too but I just brought the uh, with regular regular setup I normally use on this tour. So the snare I have on this tour is a little, the depth is a little thinner than I used to use. I was usually always using an eight or a six and a half, but this is actually a five and a half black nickel over brass. So it's sort of like a heavier black beauty, if you will. It's a collector series, black nickel over brass is what I think they label it on the website. It's loud, but like musical. I tend to tune it up a little tighter, and I just really love how it sounds. And I have like, I've tried a lot of different heads on it, and it never lets me down. I'm I use Remo heads typically. I don't I'm not endorsed with anyone for heads, but I just tend to always play Remo. That's my favorite. Uh, the kick's pretty standard, clear Power Stroke three on the batter. Actually, I couldn't get a Remo front head from Sweetwater in time for the tour, so that one's an Evans, but uh, for the Toms, I wanted to go black dots on this one because at this point, I'd only had tried coated, and I just wanted them to, they're very dark and warm sounding drums, so I thought this would brighten them up a little bit, and there's more attack, and I put the exact same head on the bottom. And that's just something I've seen like old school drummers like Tony Williams, people like Charlie Watts do that on the bottom. And they're single ply, and I usually use single ply top and bottom anyway, so I just thought it would look cool <laughs> more, more than anything. And it sounds great with these heads. I'm really happy with going with that choice for this tour. I actually put a clear one on the snare, which I've done in the past, like recording, but I never did it live, and I just thought visually it'd be fun to look at every night from my perspective, but I like it. I mean, I still think I'd probably prefer a coated head, but it's getting the job done. I'm not playing with brushes, so I don't really need like the coating, you know? The tuning, I, I kind of go back and forth. Like I'd say right now, these are like right in the middle, the toms. The snare's pretty tight. So it's not, real fat. I like my snare to kind of have like a nice attack. Like, I love John Bonham. That's pretty much why I also like the steel kit because he used the steel kit and uh, tuned his drums up and I just like how they sound that way. Like, I have the rack. Not the highest. They were higher actually. They kind of, they've settled in a little bit after this many shows and I haven't really adjusted the tuning yet but our sound guy's happy with it, so I don't really mess with it if he's not complaining. I play Peisty. Uh, I've been with them for five years, but I was using them for years since I was a kid, really. You know, so I went with some louder ones for this tour. This is uh, the signature reflector heavy full hi hat. These are 14 inch hi hats, which I do, I use 15s a lot. For whatever reason, I just felt like using 14s on, on this run. 
Uh, this is a 19 inch signature heavy full crash. 21 inch dark energy Mark One ride. It's a little, I used to use the Mark II. I couldn't get one of those in time. This one's a little drier, but I actually really like how it sounds. I think I prefer it to the Mark II, so it was sort of a happy accident. And uh, this is a 602 20 inch medium. So they just call it medium. It's not a crash or a ride. It could be both. But I just bash on it all night. And then this is a, my favorite new addition. It's a 22 inch Modern Essentials China. But I had them put 20 rivets in it. It just probably needs to loosen a little bit. It just adds a little character to it. I mean, there's really no reason for it. For it, just indulgent on my end. I've been playing these Promark 747s Hickory on this tour. I had a stick endorsement. I I like every brand's sticks, so I just I find it kind of silly because I just always go back and forth. So that's like the one thing I can't make my mind up on yet. But right now, I've been really loving these, and they also have another model. I don't have them in my bag, but the Steve Ferroni signature model is also a great stick that I like a lot. I got a 9000 series hydraulic throne. It's got the four leg post, uh, 9000 single pedal, 9000 hi-hat. Uh, this, I think this is a 5000 stand I've had for years now. And then these flat bases, I want to say they're 6,000. They have a lot of, they have so much stuff. I love DW stuff because they just, they're, the options are endless really and like they do make, to me they make the best hardware. I have so many little like gizmos and gadgets like you can attach 10 symbols to one symbol stand. Like it's crazy how, how much stuff they have. It's, it's awesome. See, I don't really hit this thing a lot but it's a Roland SPD SX sampling pad. But right now, it's more or less just like a device to get, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even set this thing up to be I plug my in-ears into it and they feed the, you know, I have like an iPad that I actually trigger the songs with now, but I don't have any sounds programmed in it because we just haven't had to like do that in the set. It's like more or less, it's like my table for my coffee my in-ears, an iPad. I, I put my cell phone here because I, I actually have my mix on an app that I just, so I can control it all myself. But that's really not my world. In-ears, uh, our tour manager just got these for us. I actually don't know what brand they are and he keeps referring to them as generic. So I like them. I also use the Shures. Uh, just like the hundred dollar clear ones. I've used those like forever, right up until this tour. So I recommend those too to anyone, they're great. So you can find everything about us on our website, badflowermusic.com, all the tour dates will be listed there. I mean, we're streaming on everything, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, Amazon. So just Google Badflower, you'll find whatever you wanna find. <laughs>